Welcome to the Maldives, 47. The Haven Island staff is ready to receive you under your assumed identity as Tobias Reaper, a professional thief looking to retire from a life of crime. Ludmilla Vitrova can be found in the public sections of the island, primarily tending to client needs. Stephen Bradley alternates between looking after a strict training regimen and working on a small private island while Tyson Williams roams his large villa estate at the back of the island. This is it, 47. Eliminating the three owners of Haven should buy Miss Hall the time needed to do a full penetration and retrieval of the Providence partner data. Best of luck, 47. Hi, I'm Jimmy, and this is a Let's Play series of the Hitman World of Assassination Trilogy. I will be playing all of the story missions on Master, Master Difficulty, with the default start locations and loadout. And this is Haven Island. This is the final Mr. DLC Hipper. map for welcome to Haven Island. Hitman 2. Oh, please collect your key to the private hut in the welcome center. Okay, enjoy your stay. So as I mentioned Mr. last Hipper. time, this is another... Welcome to Haven! Here is the key level. for your personal hut. Um, it's the one behind you on the right. Oh, and Miss Vitrova asked me to tell you. Yeah, so this is a, a, a sort of a, f kind of a, more of a filler mission. We are, after uh, kidnapping the Constant, we are still tracking down the partners and making sure they aren't able to disappear and, and cover their tracks. Ooh. So we've gone to Haven Island to try and, uh, yeah, to to stop them from concealing their identity and being lost forever. So here, I'm breaking into one of the other huts. There's a doctor here. And if I get his disguise, that will give me an opportunity uh, to take out one of my targets. Yeah. Just use a simple coin to distract the maid. She sort Check of that out, would you? Will do. Following the doctor, and do, he's doing a walkthrough of his hotel room. So... Yeah, superficially, this map seems, you know, similar to Bangkok, uh, in that it's, uh, you know, the whole level uh, Greasy takes place in a hotel. Everywhere. Filth everywhere. I can't take this. Doctor's not happy about the state of his room. Um, but yeah, so superficially, it seems kind of similar. You, you might expect I would have similar complaints that, oh, it's, you know, it's like a vacation where you never leave the hotel. The difference is that this... This is this hotel is a resort. This is you know, it's it's got you know, jet skis to ride around and it's got a lot of fun things to do. It like feels like an exciting location more so than the Himapan Hotel in Bangkok, which was really just a very sort of standard you know hotel, um, nothing really special going on. It's sort of it's interesting how I do this. I picked up the keys from my hotel room, but then I immediately break into someone else's hotel room. I don't even know if I go into my hut, but one of these huts, you know, the idea is the agency has booked Agent 47 a hut on this hotel. Um, so I am able, I do have a hut that I can use. Well, I do, I do go there, that's right, I go there because it has a, a clue that I use to sort of follow one of the mission stories. So, as the doctor, I'm going to be uh, able to get close to Tyson Williams, who is sick. See, this this hut I, I unlock with my key, because um, this is my hut. Um, but for, um, yeah, Miss Petrova, uh, I, there's another opportunity I want to follow, and that the clue in the hut um, is the first step. Next step is I need to call her. One of the interesting things about this level Ms. is... Ms. Petrova, it's Tobias Reaper. I read your note. Excellent. I reviewed your file prior to your arrival. I found it very intriguing. I have an offer for you. If you're interested, you can find me over at the restaurant. I'll keep it in mind. 
So yeah, there are a couple scenes like this where Agent 47 is having a conversation with one of the targets and it sort of zooms in and the lighting changes. I'm not sure why the lighting changes. Oh, I change into, change into swimwear. The hotel, that's one of the nice details about this mission is the hotel provides like beach attire for you to wear on your vacation. Um, so I decided to change into that just to blend in a little better. I don't know what'll happen if I show up to this first meeting already disguised as the doctor. I don't think uh, Miss Vitrova gets suspicious, but I, I don't feel like risking it. So I decide to blend in and act casual. Still carrying the briefcase though, but I'm sure Miss Vitrova won't mind. Anyway, as I was saying, I, I like this mission. Uh, it's a nice exotic locale. Uh, feels like feels like we're having a fun adventure and uh get all those damn lawyers and journalists off our back yeah it's got three targets which is also nice and it's also got a very it's got a fairly big layout and it's despite the whole fact the whole thing is a tropical resort like it has locations that feels different there's like a secret underground facility that we'll get to explore later Mr. there's a Reaper. private mansion so good to see you you mentioned an offer yes it's a little embarrassing but We've had an incident, a theft. The thief is an employee here, a person working in Mr. Williams's villa at the other end of the island. What was stolen? A USB drive containing some sensitive information, personal information, which I would rather not fall into the hands of others. So, my offer is this. Obtain the USB drive from the thief without alerting anyone at the villa. The thief is likely still there. I can't get you inside, so you'll have to use that particular skill set of yours to gain access. Do that, and I'll convince Mr. Williams to give you a 50% discount on our service fee. That's a million dollars, Mr. Reaper. A generous offer. The information must be valuable. Mostly to me. It's very personal. Please call me as soon as you've recovered it. Very well. I'll call you. So there. It's one of the interesting things about the Tobias Reaper alias is it seems like, <clears throat> depending on the mission, Tobias Reaper's job can be whatever it needs to be. And for this one, I guess they've implied that Tobias Reaper is some sort of thief, which is why Miss Vitrova is agreed to hire them. Either that or she is pieced together that Reap, you know, Tobias Reaper is an alias for some kind of criminal. And, uh, but obviously hasn't figured out that I'm a hitman or else she wouldn't have hired me. Mr. Reaper, oh, welcome. Oh, I'm so I'm going to go back to my hut and change back into the doctor's outfit. Now I'm going to go to the back of the island to get into, uh, Mr. Williams's uh, villa. As the doctor, I'm allowed in there, uh, so I'm going to go back there uh, and take him out and collect the evidence that Miss Petrova wants. So I'll be able to kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. Yeah, this is this is a fun fun mission, and uh, yeah, I really I really enjoy it. There are a lot of different opportunities, different ways to get close to your targets and take them out. Um, it also has a very nice triple kill opportunity where you can take out all three targets at once. So here I'm going to get frisked going into the compound. So I I just have to drop my pistol, and I am everything else I can take through the frisk zone with me. Ah, the doctor, right? Mr. Williams is expecting you. Uh, he's in the house. But, uh, sorry, I, I, gotta, I gotta frisk you first, I'm afraid. Let me just pad you down here. So he's checking the briefcase as well. There's actually an exploit where you can get the contents of a briefcase through a frisk zone. All right, proceed. What you do is you just put the brief briefcase on the ground right before you get frisked. And then uh, you let them frisk you and you pick them back up again. It's sort of a, 
a silly I'm workaround, but it lets you doctor. smuggle in yes. items well, in a briefcase. I guessed as much. Follow me to Mr. Williams's room, please, and don't touch anything. We're cleaning the house today. Right, the butler's going to escort me to Mr. Williams's room. Again, I have to walk like stutter step because the NPCs in this game just move so slow. Even your normal walking speed is, you know, not is too fast. You'll Please wait them. here, Doctor. I'm sure Mr. Williams will be along shortly. So here I just was making sure the coast was clear, and then I'm knocking out the butler. So one thing I am going to comment that I dislike about this mission is it's it's a little bit glitched, in particularly in this this building. Uh, some of the walls. So there's a lot of glass walls in this building, but it feels like sometimes NPCs can spot you even looking through walls that aren't glass. So here, there's an opportunity to to drug his medicine. Um, but there's, as poisoning as the doctor, there's an even simpler way to That take him out. is Tyson Williams, CEO of Haven. Oh. A reputed paranoid tyrant, Williams is known for his bad temper and heavy handedness. Wait, you're not Dr. Singh. Thanks. Who the hell are you? Dr. Singh is tired. Long night. He asked me to fill in. I knew I shouldn't have allowed him to bring that mistress of his here. So, yeah. So I was. I'm running a bit I left the briefcase behind there, burning. putting it away. I was I hoping that the bodyguard would take it. I can hardly stay inside. It started about 10 days ago. Singh gave me those pills over there, but they aren't helping. They just give me a migraine. I think I need something stronger here, Doc. Remove your robe, please. I want to check your breathing. So I can't remember. I think I was looking, trying to distract the bodyguard, but luckily he keeps his back turned, so I am able to take him out. And there, my the briefcase I stole from the doctor has been stashed. As it was a suspicious item. Lying so on the ground. you're running a fever, Mr. Williams? Yeah, like I said, more than a week now. But the worst thing is the headache, bad migraine, Doc. The light therapy doesn't help me a lot. What can you do for me? Let's have a quick look at you before <laughs> we do anything drastic, Mr. Williams. Fine, fine. Cough, please. <coughs> Look, tell it to me straight, Doc. Is it bad? I got some very serious business to attend to and I really don't have time for this shit. We'll be done soon. Turn around for me. <laughs> oh, hell! Can't you do anything to strangle this cough, Doc? There, great. Ironic line. Tyson to Williams take eliminated. Him out on. Excellent work, 47. Two targets remaining. But yeah, particularly in this room, I notice that sometimes the maids in the other room can sort of spot me through the corner. Uh, but this time, luckily, it didn't happen. Um, so there we go. That's one target taken down. And we are going to get started on retrieving the USB key for uh, Miss Vitrova. My ass on the line here, you got it? Whoever stole Mr. Williams' USB key had access to the villa, so it must be somebody worked with. Nothing yet. I've told the others this is a top priority. So see the guards here are also interested in finding the USB key. Instead of giving it to Miss Petrova, you can also, I believe, give it to one of the other targets. I think Mr. Williams, but possibly Mr. Bradley. Um, let's, we'll set up a different opportunity. But yeah, now we're going to uh, take a look at that uh, underground bunker I was talking about earlier.
Oh yeah, here's where I decide to save. Yeah, I'm about halfway through. I have uh, taken out one of my targets, and I've got a plan to take out the other. This is a little early to be saving, but I managed to pull it off. But yeah, I haven't talked too much about the sort of glitches in this game. Mostly, um, it's the way I usually like to play it. It doesn't affect me too much. Uh, I play on professional difficulty so I can just save and reload. But it is one of the things that makes playing on master mode or playing a contract more frustrating is sometimes you can have a great run that gets messed up through no fault of your own. Um, and that is frustrating when that happens. So there we picked up some flowers that, you know, contain an emetic poison. And also a coconut, which will let us knock people out. So there, just fast forward a little bit. Just, I had to wait for this scientist to finish what he was doing. Here, knock him out with the coconut. And he has a key card for this facility. And also the perfect disguise to enter this facility. And there's a convenient place to hide the body right here. So this is all a very convenient setup to break in. So this is the facility where they store all of their data that they've collected. Don't worry, it's fine. I'm actually Jeez. so I'm sort of taking advantage of the fact that I kind of know I know already where Man, the USB key is. Heard something weird. I'm gonna go check it out. Like normally when you play through this mission, um, you have to like hack security cameras to see who the uh, you know find uh, who the person is who's you know find the person who's talking about the items they've stolen. So I change my good, good disguise. Take the slop off the ground. Without arousing suspicion. Oh, and I, I picked an extra coin and decided to use that to... Uh, you could put coins in the vending machine to purchase soda. So I decided I want to turn one of those coins into a vending machine. So I guess I hadn't picked up the extra coin yet, but there, I, I just got it. So... I'm waiting again. I'm waiting for the person with the stolen USB Hi. key to come back. Normally, like, if I had a lockpick, I wouldn't need to do this. Um, I'd just be able to break into her locker and steal it, but, uh, unfortunately, I, I don't have lockpick with me because I'm doing the default load app, so I had to knock her out to steal her key. And there's the USB stick. So there we go, we've got one target taken out, we've got the evidence, this will let us get close to Miss Vitrova, and um, yeah, we just need to take out Vitrova, and we're going to go ahead and turn off the camera system anyway, even though we haven't been recorded yet, just to simplify things. Yeah, first we need to get out of this mansion and back onto the rest of the island. And yeah, I'm gonna go, oh yeah, go back here to recover my pistol. Now that I have a guard disguise, I am allowed to be holding it, but just best to keep the keep your weapons holstered whenever you can. Yeah, keep it real. And I'm allowed to be here. This is a security facility, so I'm getting recorded. Ironically, I get recorded on my way to destroy the camera footage, so. 
but this will make it easier. Um, Stephen Bradley, he's, he spends most of his time on a sort of separate atoll that there are cameras covering the entrances, so it's just easier to destroy the cameras from here. It's also because it's very easy, like, you can you can take them out with the silenced pistol, but it's very easy for guards to hear, hear the pistol and, and catch you that way. So here, I, I go in here, I've distracted one of the guards. The other guard is heading out on his own, so I can destroy the video evidence. There we go. Now we don't need to worry about cameras for the rest of the mission. Now I just need to get things ready for my one-on-one -on -one with Miss Vitrova. So after you get the evidence, you need to call her and she'll set up a meeting with you in the spa area. But before the before that I want to do some leg work to just make sure that we are properly alone. Fine day, sir. And yeah, with this guard disguise I'm allowed anywhere on the island. This is the sort of higher level security guard. So the the the, the guys in the blue polo shirts, that's sort of the basic security guard and they're allowed I believe they're allowed everywhere except maybe Bradley's Island and Mr. Williams' uh, mansion. But uh, yeah, this, this guard disguise is allowed everywhere, I believe. So just waiting for an opportunity to knock out this security guard, the, the one in the blue shirt. Um, he hangs out. He has a view of the room where I'm going to be with Miss Petrova in a little bit. So I want to knock him out. So... He doesn't uh, see anything he shouldn't. I think you can take out Miss Vitrova using the method I'm showing without knocking this guy out, but you have to be very careful in how you time it. It's very easy, depending on where he is in his patrol route, for him to spot you. So, just it's just simpler to take him out first. Okay, I think I got. I used the phone out here to call Miss Petrova. There, the camera went weird again. I don't know why the lighting changes when it zooms in like that. But it's odd. Miss Petrova, I've acquired the item you wanted. Wonderful. I knew you were the right man for the job. I could feel it the moment I laid my eyes on you. Should we meet? Yes, absolutely. Come to the spa over by the pool area. Well, that's another detail. Is normally the spa area is off limits um, for Agent Forty Seven when he's disguised as a tourist. But after you set up this meeting, you can talk to the receptionist, and she'll say, "Oh, you have an appointment. Come in." But I have a disguise that already has access, and I'm just going to meet in this disguise right now. I'm just waiting for uh, Miss Petrova to arrive. I'm heading in. Is everything in order as we discussed? Of course, Miss Petrova. Good. I want the left room all to ourselves. No screwing up with double bookings like yesterday with Portman and Mr. Bradley. I'm still trying to sort out that mess. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Drawwell. Again, very sorry about that. Hmm. Oh, that's a funny detail. One of the guests at this hotel is Jason Portman, who was previously, you saw him previously in the Hokkaido mission. Well, oh, nice outfit, Mr. Reefer. I see you're already doing what you can to fit in. Follow me. She comments on my disguise, but I figured it would be okay to have the meeting while wearing a disguise, since she already hired me to steal from Mr. Williams. You, leave us. I figured she probably wouldn't get mad at me for having a security guard disguise. She'd probably be understanding that that was part of how I was able to obtain the evidence for her. You have the item with you. Can I have it, please? Here you are. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Mr. Reaper. I can't tell you how much this means to me, Mr. Reaper. I'm afraid things aren't quite as serene here as they may seem on the surface. I'm slowly beginning to understand that. I decide not to wait for her to Good give her work, whole 47. speech. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Just one more target to go. 
if you let her talk, she talks more about the sort of conflict that's going on between the targets of this mission. Um, which is interesting, but I decided I was running out of patience, didn't want to listen to all of that. Um, so yeah, that's two targets down and the evidence is taken care of. Now we just need to get onto the island where, uh, or really it's more of an atoll where Stephen Bradley hangs out. Yeah, you can see the guards here are wearing the same sort of high-level security disguise, so I'm allowed to be on this item. I'm taking a sort of a, a wide route to avoid one of the enforcers, but... Oh, there's our target. He's already on the island. He likes to go for a jog around the island and then go to the workout club. He's very interested in fitness. My plan involves taking out the waiter. Oh, well, that's another interesting thing. You heard the thunder just then. The weather on this mission changes. I believe it's related to the mission time, so the longer you're in the mission, the more stormy it becomes. But it might be linked to taking out the targets. It might be once you've taken out two targets, the storm starts blowing in. I'm not sure. Uh, get ready to serve drinks, and in a moment, Mr. Williams will come by. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to that. <laughs> this is a longer wait, so I have to move things along a little faster. I caught him at a bad time. I think he'd just been on, the, on this atoll, and now he's going around the rest of the island and completing his loop. He's jogging around the atoll, he does that. I guess once. Yeah, now, he's here. I'm going to go ahead and poison the drink. Serve it to him. I'm going to actually use a method here that's a bit of an exploit. I'm taking advantage of the fact that NPCs will drown sort of the instant their face goes underwater. It's a sort of work of Hitman. That's Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. And there I'm able That's to stand up. That's all we need up. to do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work, 47. Now I change back into the security guard outfit. Yeah, I'm ready to leave the mission. Hello, sir. Yeah, it was interesting. A guard came over to investigate, so presumably he heard the gunshot but he wasn't suspicious of me. Possibly just because I put my pistol away. That's actually, it feels like an exploit. It's mainly an exploit because if I had shot him in the head and killed him that way, I would have lost Silent Assassin. Like it would have counted as a notice kill um, because they would have seen him die. But because I shot him in the leg and he fell in the water and drowned instead, that counted as an accident. And that meant that the notice kill won't count against me for Silent Assassin raining. So, I normally don't like to do that, but for this mission, I decided to just 
let it slide for once. Here, uh, exfiltrate the mission. Now we'll just watch and make sure that I got Silent Assassin. Yep, that's Silent Assassin. So yes, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.